Hi viewers, welcome back to the series of NCRT Classics Geography. See, in the last class we have discussed related to chapter 1 to 4 of the geography. In this class, let us complete the remaining chart of, uh, part of geography. So, that uh, the classics NCRT of geography will be completed. The next chapter related to this geography is maps. You know that maps plays a very important role. Manaki tells you everything what we find out only through the maps. Anmata. Previous Gaante, we used to have the maps that which are present uh, in the hand. Okay, in hand, lo manki maps, draw chase na maps, and you know, through the smartphones, we are following the Google Maps. We know that these maps are not actually at all accurate, especially Google Maps. Manaki tells you, Chala Salaman on Google Maps, so even though we try to go to many places, sometimes we use it to stuck somewhere so maps and we have symbols uh, uh, major uh, points ki veltan ki bane use but uh, uh, so uh, there uh, are some less these are some less accurate okay but they are they used to have some less accurate but maps you can symbols and we international ka follow to untaru and for example mir ganu ka observe jeste if you want to go from delhi to mumbai delhi to mumbai vellali anukunte aa road lo ekkada ekkada churches unnai anta unna chota konni symbols temples unna chota konni symbols railway gates degara symbols air airports degara symbols ilandi vanni kuda different symbols tho akkada manaki map lo chupichadam jarugutundi if there are rivers rivers ko chesarki manaki different symbols tho map lo manam chustam so so maps are used to locate one place okay and ee map ochesarki what we are doing is as we know that our uh, shape of the earth is geoid so it is not possible uh, to uh, draw the map in a geoid shape so what we are doing we are taking the map in the flat paper in the flat paper what we are doing we are taking it in a flat line like that and we are uh, the, uh, pointing uh, uh, relay, uh, pointing the places depending upon the latitudes and long longitudes so here you can see here what is map it is a representation you can see here map is a representation or drawing of earth surface or part of it on the flat surface according to the scale so depending upon the scale we are taking various scales in the map like uh, 1 centimeter is equal to uh, uh, 200 kilometers like that we used to uh, uh, use some scales in the map and depending upon the scale we use it to find out where proper uh, uh, location are okay and there are different types of maps that are present for example physical maps physical map tells about various physical reliefs like mountains plateaus plains uh, deserts uh, uh, okay rivers lakes so all these oceans all these tells about the physical map which tells about the physical features of continents or uh, continents uh, oceans or physical features of the world okay and um, political maps these political maps related to uh, you can see here uh, 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 countries various countries and uh, their capitals cities uh, okay uh, villages all these can be seen in the political maps okay so uh, so uh, you can uh, see here the different types of maps that are present okay uh, one is physical maps and the second is political maps and the third type of important map is, is called thematic map so if you look after this thematic map uh, they focus on only some specific information related to roadways or railways airways like that or industries you know that industries are also placed in these thematic maps and all right and uh, so uh, rainfalls where the rainfalls are occurs earthquake maps where what is uh, where such earthquakes are occurs cyclone maps so all these comes under the thematic maps and next in so so these are different types of maps which are available the physical maps which tells about the various physical locations of uh, the world and the next important is related to uh, the um, the political maps which tells about the uh, uh, cities uh, villages countries and their capitals and next is thematic map which tells about the theme to the related to the particular theme and what are the three components of the maps the three components of maps are distance direction and symbol are the three components of the map that means the direction has to be known perfectly without knowing the direction we doesn't know uh, where uh, this particular location is and the symbol has to be placed properly i have told you there are some international symbols related to uh, the rivers related to mountains relate and also there are colors uh, there are color coding related to those also for example uh, you can see here uh, blue color is indicating the oceans and lakes uh, and all water blue color will indicate the water and green color is used to indicate the plains and all where the plain areas were located uh, and uh, brown color can be indicated related to the plateaus like that okay so um, uh, the symbols are very much the direction is very much and distance also has to be maintained 
so you have to know about the distance so these are the various comp three components of the map the first one is distance you have to know the distance between any two objects and you have to know uh, point out the exact scale of the map there and the direction in which direction that they are present and also the symbol uh, for, for example if you want to go to from delhi to mumbai you know that uh, uh, the, the first it will show the distance how much distance is between the dis uh, delhi to mumbai in the google maps later it will show the shortest distance later it will show the directions right and in the middle it will show how some symbols like hospital symbols uh, like railway gates like airports like that okay so this is related to three components of the map and coming to the distance i have told you uh, uh, it is not possible for us to fit the entire world in a single paper so that is the reason depending upon the scale we are changing the distance okay so we are uh, giving the scale in that particular distance so what happens here is when large areas like continents or countries are shown on the paper then we use small scale so what happens uh, for if you are uh, taking the large scale maps okay for the large scale maps what we are doing we are like continents and all we are uh, taking as for the small scale maps which means for example 5 centimeters on the map shows 500 kilometers like that whereas in the case of small village okay if you look after only a small village which has a population of around 2000 members okay and uh, the uh, the area is very less that is less than 2 kilometers such type of maps can be seen in the large scale maps okay so here two types of distance maps can be divided into two types that is small scale maps and large scale maps the small scale maps can be said that in order to show about the large features like mountains big big countries and all we are using the small scale maps for large scale maps it is very useful for only for the less um, uh, you see like a village or a town uh, which is showing the paper that can we can use in a large scale map and related to the direction we know that we used to have uh, the four directions uh, uh, directions uh, along with uh, uh, remaining four uh, directions the first four directions are called as cardinal points so you can see here the cardinal points that are present okay there are four cardinal points that are present north south west and east are the cardinal points and all the directions are cardinal directions you can see and um, uh, remaining points can be drawn related to the directions right so uh, west and north in middle we have a north first and northeast southeast and southwest are some other directions which are present in the map so depending upon these directions we can locate the map okay we can uh, easily locate the map where it was and all okay easy look at the map so you can see here they have given you the scale of the map you can see this is houses of Vikas, Sheila and Karim they have taken some examples related to shops schools and they also given you some symbols like tree symbols well symbol they have given right Gra here you can see here playground they have given trees post office community centers so directions they have given here you can see north direction and all so this is a very so you can see here directions they have given symbols they have given I have told you directions symbols and also distance also they have given so these are the three components of the map which was covered okay i have told you and even directions were also uh, covered okay and see the next symbols i have told you the symbols depending upon the building shapes bridges the symbols are classified and there is an international agreement related to these symbols and these type of symbols are called convectional symbols what is the convection what is the symbol called these are called as conventional symbols for example you can see here Mm, there are uh, you can see for settlements and graveyards we have trees and grass for river well well you can see this is a symbol which has seen in the well and tank canal bridge so this is a, a bridge canal and all and uh, you can see roads depending on metal and metal road symbols can be used like this so so there are some international sim, mm, uh, agreement which in order to know about the symbols and depending upon these are called as conventional symbols and you can easily see here so these are the symbols you can see this right so these are various symbols this is a metallic road and non metallic road this is a bridge right uh, you can see this is a railway grade so depending upon that this is a river right uh, uh, so school uh, post office and all everything that is present okay and uh, see the next important one sketch and plan there is a difference between the sketch and plan sketch is nothing but a rough rough part which we cannot uh, give any measurements or uh, something which we done in a rough places okay so for example uh, the rough sketch means you see uh, used to draw some village map and you can you can say here it is a school here is a college and uh, here there is a, there are offices here is community health center and all so like that you can draw everything but in the case of um, remaining parts it is not an uh, um, you are not uh, giving any scale and all but whereas the plan it is tells about the complete information it has a lot of information 
uh, which tells about uh, uh, tells about the length and breadth of a room uh, and also tells about uh, different uh, uh, you see the places where the particular location is located and all okay so these are uh, related to the topic of maps okay to just go through today's uh, world map and uh, india map once and uh, once um, uh, uh, once see uh, world map and india map once and uh, uh, write all the states and union territories in the india map that is your homework okay what are the three components of map they are distance symbols and directions are the three components of map see what are the three components of the map i have already told you related to the components that is distance symbols and also directions are the three components of the map what are the four cardinal directions that are north south east and west are four cardinal direction what do you mean by the term scale of the map the term scale of the map can be measured in uh, small scale or the large scale the small scale can be represented for the uh, large bodies like mountains oceans uh, and all uh, the big big countries and all whereas the large scale maps can be used for the small village town which is having the less than uh, uh, we can see uh, like 2 kilometers population or the town which is having 20 kilometers of population like that how are maps more useful than globe you so globe is uh, completely in the geoid shape and the you can see it is an imaginary uh, thing which was uh, present uh, in the globe you can see complete continents uh, oceans and all but you are unable to locate a particular place but in the case of map you uh, with the thematic map or by using these uh, physical maps okay by using political maps we can easily identify a particular location through latitudes and longitudes okay distinguish between a map uh, be, uh, dis uh, distinguish between a map and a plan you see a map it consists of the directions it consists of symbols it consists of uh, this distance that is scale proper scale whereas the plan a plan doesn't uh, um, see the plan which doesn't mean uh, it consists of the whole but uh, it is just um, a, a picture which can be you can draw in a particular place okay which map provides detailed information uh, you see uh, uh, all the maps like uh, you can see this physical features map can provide the detailed information okay and also these uh, political map provide the detailed information and thematic maps also provide the in detailed information so depending upon the application all the maps provide the detailed information how do see, uh, symbols help in regarding maps so if you know it is an international standard it will help you to locate where the place was and a map showing distribution of forests are called thematic maps we know that i have told you so forest is a theme so that is the reason we are having the thematic map the blue color is used to showing for water bodies the compass is used to know about the direction where we are moving so we, we know how the compass it shows about the main direction where we are moving a scale is very much necessary for the map okay so this is related to the chapter 4 of classics ncrt now go to the chapter 5 of class 6 ncrt major domains of the earth very very important topic see here these major domains of the earth is classified into four parts okay so it is classified into four parts the first one is lithosphere the second one is atmosphere the third one is hydrosphere and this is a biosphere so let me explain all these things in a detailed manner ikkada maniki observe observe cells in the end and domains here means so how these uh, 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 you see uh, what we, where these human beings are used to live uh, where they are living it may be in the land or water or air so it or in the what type of environment they are interacting uh, so those overlaps things can be everything seen in this major domains of decks the first one is i have told you one of the major domain lithosphere here the litho means uh, lithosphere okay uh, lithosphere here the litho means here litho means solid part okay lithosphere here means a solid part here uh, it consists of a solid portion of the earth it, which is called as lithosphere and next one is atmosphere this atmosphere consists of a gases so the, the ga all the gases like uh, water vapor carbon dioxide nitrogen oxygen all these comes under the atmosphere hydrosphere represents the water area okay hydro means water you know that the big area of earth surface is surrounded by the water such type of th uh, things are called hydrosphere and you can see here is the biosphere uh, is it is a narrow zone that were fluid with land water and air together which contains all forms of life you can see here this is lithosphere biosphere hydrosphere okay lithosphere biosphere sorry lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere and all these together forms the 
in the middle what we call biosphere biosphere means it can, it is everything the life that is present which is a narrow way narrow zone okay i have told you lithosphere the lithosphere means a solid structure it may be the continents okay it may be either on the surface of the continents and also in the ocean bases okay uh, uh, you know that the here you can see here the one thing the level of water remains the same every everywhere Ele elevation of land is measured from the level of the sea which is taken as zero what happens is that here uh, uh, the land elevation can be measured with the level of the water uh, from the sea it was going to measure and so level of the water is same everywhere so the measurement can be done uh, how the elevation that means the height of the mountains and everything can be done from the mean sea level which we call as from there uh, we are going to calculate the height of each and every object that is present on the surface of the earth mm, so if you let us see this map very thoroughly okay let us see this map very thoroughly then you can uh, easily uh, understood what is what okay so if you look after this map you can see this is a old map right so next let now let us see everything in he detail so if, here you can see the continents that are present okay the lithosphere which is we are calling as an uh, uh, is a continent uh, sur uh, continent surface area that is land so we have in in this world we have seven continents the first one is asia uh, followed by Africa, Europe, North America, South America, and Australia, Antarctica. So these are the continents that are present. And each continent has its very unique feature. So if you look after this Asia, Asia is largest continent in the world. And it consists of the major Himalayas in which the Mount Everest was placed highest peak in the world. And it is also having different plateaus like Tibet Plateau and mountains like Ural Mountains. Okay and uh, you can see it is also having many islands okay it has some island countries also like indonesia and all so the the the, the all these are island countries which were present okay and uh, it has north korea and south korea and you can see these asia it it, uh, it was covered by two sides with the ocean you can see three sides with the ocean and the top you have arctic ocean uh, in the case of uh, east you have this pacific ocean in the um, south you have the indian ocean okay this is related to the asia and the next day here you can see the australia australia is an island uh, continent uh, okay uh, and uh, most of the physical future of the australia consists of deserts okay most of the physical future of the australia consists of deserts okay so you can see here uh, great sandy deserts were present in the australia and here you are having some island countries like new zealand and all in the australian continent okay and next if you look after this africa mm, africa is one of the largest continent <coughs> sorry in africa you have these uh, mm, uh, di you different uh, uh, mountains are present uh, and uh, africa one thing you have to remember in africa is all three uh, it, uh, all three lines like equator, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn passes through Africa. That is one of the most important feature of the Africa. You see no, none other continent is passing all these three but Africa it has very different types of climate. You see uh, the uh, equator is passing through Africa, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is also passing through Africa. So uh, that is the reason Africa is very unique. It has uh, very more resources compared to that of the remaining continents. And you can see uh, uh, Europe, uh, this Europe you can see here, uh, the, the, it is in the west of, of uh, it is in the west of Africa. These Europe and Asia are uh, divided with the Ural Mountains. Previously, it is called as Eurasia, but uh, with what mountains are dividing it? Ural Mountains. You can see Mediterranean Sea in between this Europe and Africa and all. And um, uh, along with that, we have Arts Mountain here. Okay, and uh, you, in the middle, you have this S-shaped uh, S-shaped ocean. In the middle, we have what we call S-shaped ocean is there, which is called as Atlantic Ocean, which was between this Europe and also North America. And you can see here the complete North America and the South America. These North America and South America were divided with uh, an isthmus, which is called as here we, we have this isthmus here. Um, here, isthmus means a small uh, land, okay, which is dividing the two countries. Uh, there is difference between isthmus and straits. 
there is difference between isthmus and straits see here india is divided by uh, sri lanka with strait that is called pak strait pak strait is a line which is dividing india and also sri lanka the strait is nothing but a water body a small water body uh, with a few kilometers which uh, uh, which joins two uh, countries in the same way here isthmus is a um, land body which uh, connects the north america and also south america here we have an isthmus okay and in the north america you can see here you have rocky mountains and avalanche mountains and also in the south america you have an amazon river okay world's longest river and also you have this uh, 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 mountains that are present and south africa is world famous for these diamonds and all south africa and africa mostly they are famous for diamonds okay so these are related to various uh, continents that are present in our world okay so let me tell you some other points related to oceans the here you can I have already told you atlantic ocean which is an s shaped ocean which is formed between north america europe south america and africa and pacific ocean is the largest ocean you can see this pacific ocean is present in both right side and left side why it was in the right side and left side why because if you see in the globe the pacific ocean can be uh, uh, have the west of asia is has to be north america pacific ocean after the pacific ocean we have north america so pacific ocean is the largest ocean and you have indian ocean okay it was only the ocean which was named after the country name called india indian ocean was surrounded by uh, the three continents that is australia asia and africa and arctic ocean which was present in the top uh, a very important ocean which uh, which was present in the polar region and you can see the southern ocean which is the fifth ocean which is present near the antarctica okay is antarctica is also a continent but here there is there no proper uh, due to the harsh climatic conditions there are no people here only some research stations uh, of india and other countries were present in the antarctica so uh, what you have to do is take out the world map uh, write all the uh, point out all the continents uh, and oceans along with that point out uh, some important features related to these uh, continents okay so it will be helpful for you in future uh, i have told you related to continents just now related to asia i have told you ural mountains europe i have told you and africa i have told you all the tropic of cancer and tropic of Cap capricorn is uh, passing through this and sahara desert is one of the desert which is uh, present in africa and north america uh, i have told you it is the third largest continent uh, and it is having the isthmus of panama i have told you the isthmus is a place which the land uh, connects between the two uh, continents or two countries okay strait and isthmus are quite different strait means it is a water body for example india and also um, what we sri lanka are uh, divided by strait so this is what i have told you india and sri lanka are divided by the strait uh, sorry india and sri lanka are divided by the strait whereas in the case of uh, north america and Zonu, they are divided by isthmus of panama a narrow strip of line joining the two masses two land masses okay uh, and Australia, I have told you, it is having the desert, which is it is also called a smallest country and an island, uh, sorry, uh, a smallest continent and also island continent. Antarctica completely in the southern hemisphere. Uh, I have told you only the research centers are there. The two in research centers are Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri are the two research centers that are present. So this is related to the lithosphere, uh, different continents in the lithosphere okay i have told you four uh, domains are there the first one is lithosphere it is about solid solid uh, stage in this i have described about the continents that are present uh, that related to seven continents i have discussed now the second one is hydrosphere hydro means water so we know that earth consists of 71 percent of water and 29 percent of land and among these 71 percent 97 percent of 5 97.5 percent belongs to oceans and only fresh water is 2.5 percent very very important see here what happens is that uh, we know that earth it which is very huge right it is mostly covered with water most of the water is covered in earth that is more than 75 three fourth of the more than three fourth of the land of the earth is covered with water so that, that is the reason 79 percent is covered with water among these 79 percent again 97.5 percent is ocean water only there present there and only 2.5 percent belongs to the fresh water and where this fresh water comes from it comes from ice sheets and glaciers or uh, under the ground uh, it, uh, under the ground it may be a very small percentage okay
it is a very small percentage okay next related to oceans i have told you related to hydrosphere we discussed about the pacific ocean and all it is the largest ocean and the deepest trench called marina trench is present here you can see here the marina trench which is the very deepest part of that lies in the pacific ocean right it is completely in the circular in shape okay it is completely in the circular in shape okay and see sorry and see about next one atlantic on uh, atlantic ocean it is a shape of earth i have already told you it is a shape of earth and it is flagged by the northern south america in the western side the coastal of atlantic highly indented so that is the reason mostly they are used commercial harbors that are present there indian ocean which is by three by three continents which is triangular in shape and southern ocean which is present near the antarctica with uh, which extends from northward to 60 degrees latitude and arctic ocean in the arctic circle okay so this is related to the oceans that are present and see the next topic related to this atmosphere see atmosphere means i have told you related to the gases so gases here are present uh, in the atmosphere various types of gases are present in the atmosphere now let us see what are the various types of gases that are present here the first one is related to uh, nitrogen which make up about 97 99% of Uh, the first one is nitrogen which is having 78% the 78% of the nitrogen is you can see here the uh, 78% of uh, 78% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen and also 1% of the other gases are present here okay you can see here uh, the nitro the in the in the total gases nitrogen consists of 78% oxygen consists of 21% and also remaining 1% volume is consists of other gases okay remaining what is the remaining other uh, uh, consists of it consists of other gases okay and see here uh, uh, the various layers of the atmosphere are present here okay the various layers of the atmosphere what are the various layers of the atmosphere uh, there are uh, five layers in the atmosphere which you can see here so these five layers of the atmosphere troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere are the five layers of the atmosphere and troposphere is the bottom low most layer uh, which ca you can see here uh, so uh, the stratosphere is a layer where the flights can be gone okay and uh, you can see this mesosphere and thermosphere is the um, area where meteoroids i have already told you in the first lesson related to the meteoroids related to the meteoroids the meteoroids which uh, meteoroids which were uh, coming to the atmosphere they use it to burn in the stratosphere okay in the uh, stratosphere these meteoroids are used to burn and the remaining thermosphere and exosphere you can see this in this part of the layer of the exosphere the satellites are revolving uh, in order to know about various uh, conditions of the earth okay so this is these are related to the atmosphere Okay, and uh, you can see when you go use it to go to the height. What happens is that when you go it to the higher, uh, 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 you see uh, higher altitudes, the temperature use it to decrease. Okay, that is the one thing you have to be noted. The temperature use it to decrease when you go to the higher altitudes. I will tell you in the further classes how this temperature is going to decrease in the seventh and eighth classes. You you uh, you can see here. and if you look after this picture this is a complete biosphere where the all uh, uh, hydrosphere lithosphere and atmosphere can be present so in this picture it can be seen that uh, the lithosphere is uh, said to be in the solid crust and all the portion which is present in the lands comes under the lithosphere hydrosphere can be shown in the oceans lakes and wells and all and atmosphere you can see it is present in the air where uh, all uh, different uh, parts of uh, layers are that are present Uh, so this is related to this lesson okay